Hey guys, welcome out to beautiful Holly Springs. Not an area I usually uh, do too much just because it's about maybe about an hour, 15 minutes from my house, but I did have a client um, that was interested. So I said, I'm gonna run out here and do some videos and meet the onsite agent. And then I had another client that was looking down the street in Woodstock for a resale home. So I'm gonna come uh, throughout the area and try to do some videos for you. But as you can see, this community is absolutely gorgeous. This is kind of their modern farmhouse style look. Um, as you can see, it has a nice little pool and clubhouse cabana, I guess they would call it. When you first come in, you can see this is the main entrance. Um, and they're pretty much, you know, sold out for all their standing inventory. So if you want to build, you have to get on a list. But this floor plan, the Lindbrook, is a four bedroom, uh, three bath with a, a media room as well. I think they only have currently about three basement lots. Uh, some other floor plans that I've uh, videotaped, it's called the Bellevue. They're gonna have two basements on there and possibly a Georgetown. So if you're interested in those as well. Majority of them are gonna be slab lots though. But the great thing about it, Holly Springs is in Cherokee County. You're very close. You're pretty much between Canton and Woodstock. Um, and it's a really sweet town. It's really um, kind of gives you that rural feel, but you still got shopping, you know, your major shopping plazas and they have the Woodstock outlets, downtown Woodstock and Holly Springs. I was reading that they are investing a lot of money in there as well. So um, I think it might be a good area to consider. It's pretty much northwest of the city. Um, it would give you back, backdoor um, access to like a Roswell, Alpharetta, Milton, uh, Canton, and Woodstock. So um, you could also take I-575 to the, the, they have an express lane that they built to get down to uh, where the Braves play down there on the Smyrna Atlanta line 285. So let's walk this one and um, take a look. This is called their Lindbrook model, as you see. Um, and very, very nice, spacious. Again, see the details. They're going with the modern farmhouse feel. And the prices, guys, start in the, pretty much the fours. Um, the ranches might start in the high threes, but after you do some upgrades and stuff, you're pretty much going to be in the fours. But the great thing is if you get one of those basement lots, you'll still be in the fours. Nothing right now has touched in the five. So it's a really great opportunity. As you see, you have a beautiful... Uh, front porch, covered front porch. Here's some of the lots, future lots that will be released that you could get on the waiting list for. Look back at my video of what's going on with new homes and how it's basically becoming a first come, first serve basis situation. So let's go in and take a look. Beautiful front door. And let's take a tour. So again, this is their Lindbrook model. As you see when you first come in, let me see if I can back out a little bit. You have a very nice wide um, foyer area. Not sure if the camera really picks it up, but it's very, very large. Um, over here to the right, you have your dining room. And as you see, it has the beautiful coffered ceilings, but not only the coffered ceilings, but it has the uh, tray ceilings inside of it. Um, so beautiful. They're showing it as the theme of the modern farmhouse. These are called Revwood. You've seen that in my other videos. I think this is actually the ones we put in our house too. They never scratch or dent. Um, they have a great warranty on it as well. So it gives you that hardwood look, but without the scratching and the denting. Again, showing you the foyer area. And let's take a walking tour. Uh, one of the things I love about this floor plan, this Lindbrook, is this uh, built-in area right here where you can add a dry bar. I think this is Luna Pearl or I think that's, yeah, Dallas Wire or Luna Pearl. Granite countertops come standard. I like the accented uh, black handles. And what you'll do, guys, is you get to go to a design center out in Swanee, Georgia, and meet with the uh, interior person, interior decorator, and pick out your backsplashes, your countertop colors, all that good stuff. Here's your kitchen, but before we go in there, as you see, you got a very, very nice size walk-in pantry. 
I mean, tons of shelves to put your cereal, oatmeal, flour. And then look how nice and open this kitchen is. Back out so you can see. So you get the double ovens, standard. You get the um, refrigerator will be an upgrade. So you get pretty much everything except the refrigerator and the washer and dryer. Um, you get the microwave. This beautiful backsplash, right? This is what we put in our house as well. Four burner gas cooktop. You'll be able to choose between a four or five burner. It's a smart home, so you get this Amazon Echo included as well. And you'll be able to choose your sink and your faucet as well. This is a stainless steel um, with the separation in between, but you could choose the big white, uh, brown, or black granite one, which is really cool, or the spring faucet, but this one's really nice as well. And then you have your island. I don't know if I pointed out the dishwasher too. That's included. Got your pendant lights. If you want to get your own pendant lights, you probably would just tell them you want to cap it as well. And um, I always tell people that's one way to save on your upgrades is just take the basic one and then get your own lighting after the fact. That's what we did as well. In addition to that dining room, you have an area right here where you could do a kitchenette table. You could either leave it open, you could do a nice cocktail table, or you could do a small little table like this. Some people would just leave it open uh, because you could have, you have plenty of space over here in addition to your dining room for about three stools on your island. Um, depending on, um, if they've already permitted this uh, particular lot, sometimes you could do this as a two-story uh, family room as well. Um, they have, I think, about six different floor plans. I'll have to look back. I know it's the Georgetown, the Grayson, the Westerly, uh, the Lynnbrook, and I have to see about the ranch, what the name of that one is as well. Here's your living room. As you can see, it has enough room. You know, you could definitely do two long couches. You could do a sectional. They're showing it more formally with two uh, big wing back chairs and a couch. A couple end tables and another um, high back wing back chair. This is your fireplace. Just comes on by flicking on the switch so you don't have to rub those two twigs together to get it started. They're showing it with brick. You could do brick, stone, or the slate tile. And again, just taking a look back from here, how beautiful and open it is. I love that they added this column on both sides. And this one has a bedroom downstairs, which I know is important to a lot of people. Showing it with a, uh, I think this is probably a full-size bed down here. A couple end tables, one nightstand and an end table. Got your room here for a dresser. You can put a TV above it if you want. Standard closet right here. And then you have a full bath down here. I love the tile that they showed here in this model. Cultured marble, again with the white. And again, you go to the design center. This is probably their top level, probably level six or seven um, upgrade. But you could do standard tile as well. If you wanted to do tile around this shower tub combo, you can as well. But just taking a step back, you can see it's got really nice room. So this is the bathroom that your guests would use here on the first level and that bedroom on this level. Through there is the sales center, but that would be your two-car garage. Coat closet, always important when guests are coming over. Before I um, head upstairs too, I also wanted to show you an example where you could add a covered porch. Some of the floor plans, they allow you to do enclosed ones as well. They're giving you the LED lights. And as you can see, these are some of the future lots that are coming up. Again, out here in Cherokee County, beautiful. I think it's one of the more undiscovered areas, uh, but it, in your research, look up Woodstock, Canton, Holly Springs, and I think you'll be really impressed. Really known for their schools, great safe area, um, and giving you that suburban life that a lot of people are trying to live right now. And that beautiful covered back porch. 
Let's head upstairs and finish off. See how that looks. We got hardwoods up the staircase with the wrought iron, which is really nice. And you really can't beat it. You know, like I said, after your upgrade, still to be in a fours basement. Uh, I think it adds about 40000 on a lot of these. So still a great, great deal. This is a really nice size room. Obviously, it could fit a king size bed. They're showing it as a little, you know, secondary bedroom, maybe a little twin girl room. You got twin beds. And you also have a sitting area off of it. You can see it's a really, really nice size. In addition, look at the size of this walk-in closet. That's great for a secondary bedroom. Got the hall bath. This is probably more like your level one um, tile, so that won't really charge you an upgrade on that one. You got double sinks. You could also choose a rectangular sinks as well. This is cultured marble again, the black handles, the white cabinets, your window, and then the privacy door for somebody taking a shower or using the, the toilet. See again those lots. Beautiful. Showing you the hallway here. We have a hall closet, which is really nice. Better number three, again, a really nice size. This is showing you as a full, but you could easily fit, I would say, a queen, no problem. And again, you have a walk-in closet. I love that about these secondary bedrooms. Sometimes you lose a lot of space on those, but not with this floor plan and this build. One of my favorite features of this floor plan is this. So instead of the two-story family room, if you wanted to do a media room, which a lot of these Lynn, Lynnbrooks allow you to do, look at guys, you have a corner sectional in here and they're showing it, you know, with a standard probably 50 inch televisions. But as you can see the size of the wall, you could do a projection screen. You could do a huge 86 inch LED. They're showing it with like a little table here, a little game table. So this is a great area to congregate. If you don't want to spend the 40,000 or they don't have a basement lot, I mean, this really makes up for it because this is where you're going to gather for your man or woman cave, your kid's playroom, the TV for people to come over and watch movies. Um, so it's a really, really great area. And again, you're going to be like pretty much in the very low 400s um, for something like this. Over here, you have your washroom. You can see this will be an upgrade if you end up, I would just do it after the fact. They're going to charge you a pretty big upgrade for that. If you wanted to add a sink in here for your washroom, again, this is probably level one tile. If you wanted to upgrade that, you could. And then finally, your master bedroom and master bath. As you can see, it's a really nice size to create your own sitting area. You get the tray ceilings with the crown molding inside. This is a California king bed, and they're showing it with two wing back chairs, some big nightstands, but if you want to build out a window seat, if you want to put a big couch in here, um, be really creative with it. If you want to add shiplap or anything to one of these walls, you can do that as well. I really like this nightstand that they chose. Great. And then finally, your master bath. Look how big and wide it is double vanity sinks granite countertops oh this is a nice idea to add some more storage in your bathroom separate toilet closet soaking tub nice shower you could do like an accent strip right down the middle if you want to add a little bit more character to this bathtub i mean shower and then your walk-in closet wraps all the way around. So this is standard builder grade. You've seen it in a lot of my videos after the fact. Hire a company. We know quite a few because we did it ourselves. So just let us know, guys. Holly Springs, this is the Lindbrook floor plan. And they have about six floor plans to choose from. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Make it a great day.